Yeah, good morning. Today um, <clears throat> we are um, hatching and we are starting from the, you know, the genesis of the beginning, the 0, 0.0 level. And um, this is Bonaventure. He's um, trying to put the uh, hormone into syringe and then, um, yeah, so, and then we will um, inject the fish and leave it for about eight hours. Then um, after that, press out the eggs and then fertilize the eggs with the uh, male sperm after cutting up the stomach and bringing out the sperm sac. So, so that's it. Um, this, the fish out here is about um, 4 kg approximately. And um, 1 kg, each 1 kg is about 0 0.5. So we'll be injecting this fish with about 2 meals. <clears throat> Um, to get it, um, you know, um, set for spawning. So that's it now. Okay, let's go on. So, um, we are drawing it gradually. We are drawing it in gradually to get about two mil. Yeah, and um, I need to say this: it's best to inject your female uh, brood stock with very little syringe. Um, it is it it goes better that way than the big ones with the big needles. You know. Yeah, it's also good because you will avoid injuries. So, so that's it. You can still inject here by the side. Yeah. So you do you it can, by the. You can inject like mm. this too. By the sides. But I prefer injecting yeah. like this. Yeah. So that's it. It's injected now. That's it. Like this. Okay. Gradually. And you do that slowly. Pump it in slowly, the hormone. Slowly, he's pumping it in now, and then um, uh, in the next eight hours, I uh, will leave the fish uh, maybe till evening. Then um, we'll do the spawning, press out the eggs. So it's all done now. It's all done now. Okay, so we are done with the injecting. The, the the hormones are the hormones are in the fish, so it's going to be walking throughout eight hours, and then the eggs will be flowing out. Will help will help also to press it out. So in the next eight hours, um, I will come back to you. Now the fish will be returned back to the fish will be returned back to the tank. That is where it's going to rest till about eight hours, and then. Um, the spawning will take place so i'm going to be coming back to you in eight hours thank you yeah so we are back again um as it uh, concerns the spawning the hatch hatching and um after eight hours like i said we are we are going to start the spawning you know we injected the the female um eight hours ago now we are about to continue. What we are doing right now is that we are mixing soda ash to put into the tank that um, we are going to keep the eggs to hatch. Soda ash purifies water. These eggs and the fries that will come out later need um, a lot of clean water. And that's what soda ash will do um, for for the moment your water level water ph needs to be very very good and soda ash will bring it to that level you don't try to hash or spawn when the ph level is bad so we don't take risks here we just put soda ash in the water and try to get it done properly so you see that is what is going on right now so the water has received soda ash and uh, is purified Enough. We'll soon be going out to um, 
press out the eggs, cut out the uh, sperm sac from the male, and then fertilize the eggs and bring them here. If you look at the tank here, you see a net. Now, this net will spread out in the tank, and this is where we'll place the eggs until they hatch. Now, we're going to put some ropes. That's what it's trying to do. Put ropes by the side of the nets. That's what it's doing. And then hang them, you know, um, hang, hang the net in the, um, hang the net in the, uh, in the tank, you know. So I'm going to be coming back to that uh, while he tries to put the ropes into the net. I'm going to feel all that also. Um, somebody said uh, the things we do here, I make them, you know, look very easy. Or well, the truth is that um, they are very, very easy, especially the spawning. It's, 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 it's quite easy. Anybody can do it. The difficult aspect of it is to look after the fries. That, that takes a lot of time, dedication, hard work, experience, and all that, you know. So you see what it's trying to do? Put the ropes around, uh, around the net, the four angles of the net, and then try to hang them, hang the net um, in the pond. And then when we are, when we are fertilize the eggs that we are going to bring out from the female, we are going to put it on the net. So that's, that's it now, that's what he's doing. His name is um, Bushman. Bonaventure. <laughs> yeah. So. So you see, you see, it's quite, it's quite easy, quite easy. Anybody can do it. So you can um, learn from it and then do your own um, spawning yourself, hatch your own fishes. And for those who are breeding, um, you can hatch, take some for breeding, and then. Um, sell some get some money to look after your grow out you know your fishes you are breeding so we'll still be through with this part of it and then um, we'll go out to do the actual spawning okay so that's what it's going to be like you see him going out there now to try to hang the nets so you see that See that we'll go close so that you can see. You see that? Just hang it by the side of the you just hang it by the side of the um, by the side of the pond. Very easy indeed. So we have it um, tied to the second side of the of the pond. Um, yeah. We're gonna come out now and uh, tie it to the third part third angle of the pond remaining just one more yeah that's it remaining one more which is this one so that's it that's it yeah now this is a shower head because normally in the pond where you hatch you know you hatch your fries you don't um, put um, an open mounted pipe. You put something like this so that uh, the water will come out, you know, um, slowly. If it comes out too heavily, they will all die because they don't have the strength to take such uh, force. And then even with this shower, mouth, shower head, we still have to reduce the water a lot. You know, it comes out, it trickles, like in trickles, you know, that kind of thing. So that's the net, that's the net in the water, you can see it, yeah, that's it, all tied now and ready, ready for the next phase, we're going to be going out to do that, okay, you see that, so trying to tie it properly, position it properly, You know, these things are quite easy to do, but, you know, a couple of people can make it look as if it is too difficult and um, complex. You can do it yourself. And that's why I'm taking it from, you know, the beginning. And this is actually the second phase. We started early in the morning 
to inject the fish about eight hours ago. Um, right now, the, uh, the female fish is ready to, you know, um, you know, get, uh, you know, uh, the eggs out from it. Um, what we are doing right now is that we are putting some little gravel stones on top of the net. You see, everything here is just done, <laughs> like, locally, ordinarily. That, that's the idea. We try to save cost instead of going into a lot of complicated things. So you see those little, little white things, Binet? Okay, see the stones being thrown there? This is to keep the net from coming up. Because if it comes up while the eggs are there, not yet hatched, it could be a, a problem. So we, we, keep, we put those stones to make sure it is, you know, uh, properly um, submerged, kind of, you know. So uh, this is it. We are going to be going to, we are going to be going to do this, the spawning properly. But before we do that, we are going to test the water pH after putting the um, soda ash. This is um, an ordinary testing tube and the chemical to do that with. It, you can buy it from any outlet where they sell fish feed. It's about four, it's about four thousand naira. You know, I think every farmer should have this in their farms so that they can check their water pH. You know, when you do that, you shake it. The chemical has been put inside. A little water took uh, was taken from from it. Now you see the green color. The green color means that the water pH is very good. If it was uh, like golden brown, it means it's, it is bad. So it means the soda ash really worked, you know. So we are going to be going out now to start um, the the spawning proper. So we are here um, to do the major spawning. Um, what we are about to do now is. Um, to cut open the mail and bring out the spam sack. The spam sack will be cut out and kept. Um, then the eggs will be, will be um, excuse me, the eggs will be pressed out. If you look at this part of the, um, the stomach, you see the gentilla, you see that um, it is protruding. If, if it is female gentilla, it will be shorter. So for those of you who do not know how to identify them this is what it is this is the male the male gentilla is longer the female gentilla is shorter as it were so the cutting process now takes place now the male is the one that pays the ultimate sacrifice it is cut open and the sperm sack brought out for the spawning for the female will press the eggs out and keep it back that's how i think that's how the the world is generally men pay the ultimate sacrifice to keep <laughs> To keep life going <laughs> so that's what it is that's um that's that's it the sperm sack is being um, brought out right now i hope you all can see properly that's what it is yeah so you see the angle from where we caught you know that's where you're going to be cutting from so that uh, you won't miss it in any way. So uh, that's the spam sack brought out. We we brought out just one spam sack. Hopefully, it will be okay. But in the process of things, if it is not, then we'll just get out the second spam sack. The reason why we are using one spam sack is so that. Um, the excess of the spam will not pollute the water. If the water is polluted during the um, spawning, when the, the eggs have been put inside the pond there, um, it can cause um, havoc. It can, it can, it can um, actually slow down or stall or even um, defeat our purples. Uh, we'll have very poor um, you know, um, result. So we're very careful what we are trying to do. So look at it closely, that's a spam sack. It will soon be cut open, you know, but we have to get Bring the, we have to get the eggs first. So that's the female, you see, so you see how easy it is. Now see the eggs are all, the eggs are, the eggs are coming out already. Brenda, John, hold the ball. If you look closely, hold this thing for me. Okay. If you look closely, you discover that the eggs are coming out already. Leave that one. Okay. You see that? That's what it is. You see that? 
You see that? That's it. You see, that's a big female, you know, so it has a lot of eggs. You see that? So that's it. Very easy, you know. Very easy indeed. Very easy indeed. You see that? So, you see that? You just take your time, press the abdomen area, you know, after, you know, eight hours of injecting. We have injected the hormones in there. And that's the spam sack. We're going to cut open now. And then, you see that? Hello? Quite easy. You can do it at home. You can do it yourself. You see that? So after cutting open, we begin to spread the spam to try to fertilize, to fertilize the eggs. Okay? You see that? You see that? So we are going back to the pond that we have prepared. Remember the pond we prepared with the net? Okay, that's where we are going, we are going back to. And then the eggs have been um, fertilized, as it were. So we pour in. See that the way to do the fertilization is to just turn around, turn around, turn around in a bowl, in a clean bowl that we prepare, we, we washed with some bit of salt, you know, to sterilize a bit. So you see that being spread directly on top of the net. That's it. That's it. So that's it. Yeah. You have to spread them very well. They just go down and then, you know, settle on the net. The reason why this net is put you now is so that when the heart, when the fryers, when the, the tadpoles come out, they now fall in between the little holes under and then we raise up the net to take away the eggs that they came out from. Because if the eggs are left there, the eggs can actually pollute the whole thing and cause a lot of problems. So that's it. Yeah. The, 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 process, the process is done. It's already done. That's why I told you. It's quite, it's quite easy. But the difficult part is to look, af to look after it. You know? So, you know, this process of spawning, it's quite easy. Don't let anybody make you believe it's, it's quite difficult. It's not. You know, you can do it at home. This is why I'm taking it from the Genesis. And we are being very, you know, careful to explain to you. So, you see that? You see that? Yeah. Now, when this is done, we are going to, we are going to leave it for, for um, about... Um, 20, 24 hours, but we're looking at say 48 hours and see if um, you know everything will, will will come out. Okay, hopefully it's going to be very very good. So we we'll come back here and try to push out the remaining eggs. Okay, we just got this little. Now a little blood came out with the eggs. That means that I think the the the, the, the egg sack is empty. So when you see that little blood out there, it means no, it, it's done. It's done. No need stressing the fish anymore. So we're going to use the remaining um, spam in the sack and um, get something here. That's what. That's it. So. <laughs> Joy, don't want to waste any I beg, give up. So that's it. It's quite, it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting, and uh, you know, please, as it is being done here, um, it is the way it is done. Quite easy. Don't, don't, don't be scared. You know, don't, be, don't be scared. You know, we are spreading it out again. You can do it. You can do it yourself. You know, you know, just buy your male brew stock, female brew stock, and just follow the process that you have seen us do here. So that's it. Now, I'm going to be coming back after all this. 
in some hours to show you the beautiful fries coming out um, the beautiful things come uh, tadpoles coming out we don't call them fries until three days after they begin to pick feed you, you can call them fries then you know so we call them tadpoles you can call them tadpoles or whatever before then so i'm going to be coming back uh in some hours to show you the wonderful thing that will come out of all this now from when we started spawning till now it has taken just about 10 minutes okay it has taken just about 10 minutes 10 uh, 15 minutes tops so it's it's as easy as that okay we are through you won't believe it but we are through with the spawning we are through with the whole thing and then i'm going to be coming back the third segment to show you what has come out of it all thank you yeah so we are back to the um spawning we did after about say 30 hours from when we spawn what you are looking at right now i hope you can see it are the lava is coming out the fish is hatching after about 30 hours so uh, we are going to leave this for say another three five hours because as it is now they are still hatching i hope you can see it it's very tiny you see those little little things struggling out to come out of their eggs there are lots everywhere you look at it carefully you see them so we're going to leave this for about 36 hours i uh, sorry about um five hours more or so three to three to five hours i hope and then we're going to pull off the net the net will come out with the hatched eggs because if the eggs are left there with them for a too long it will pollute the water and kill the little little larvae you see coming out um, these ones that are hatching are going to be left to feed on um, you know they're going to feed on the um, you know the what what wraps them around uh, that it came out from and then um, after three days we're going to feed them once they start to feed um, then we can call them fries you know um, it's interesting very very interesting indeed I just hope you can see them hatching coming out from the eggs they are shaking look at it carefully you see that it's it's amazing you know um, we are going to have about close to about 80 to 100 thousand here hope so and um, after about um, five, five to six weeks or six weeks precisely then they can be called fingerlings you know yeah so that's what it is that's the outcome of our spawning we started um, some 30 hours ago so that's the conclusion we have a good uh, we have a successful spawning and the next step is to now meticulously carefully look after these labels look after them until they come to fingerling stage which is very delicate indeed that's the hard part of it all so that's what it is and um, I'm going to be signing off here now. It's been an interesting journey. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you are going to be getting things like it's very interesting coming to you. My name is Mr. Greg. <laughs>